Hi there, it's Shona back from Happy Crafters. Hope everyone's doing okay. Um, I have uh, something I've never done before. I have a ring bound journal. Um, it's the first one I've made. Um, it has, it just has um, some ribbon as the closure. So the actual journal, not including the rings, is approximately five and a half inches wide by seven and a half inches long. And we have these two rings here, plenty of room to add your own little pieces of ephemera, your photos and things. The front and back covers are made of chipboard and then decorated with some papers. On the front here we have a piece of lace, a lovely little card that says collect beautiful moments, little die cut with a fly and some paper flowers. Not including the front and back covers, we've got 38 pages, front and back. <coughs> Every single page has these um, metal um, eyelets to stop the pages from tearing. And obviously because it's a ring bound, you can swap the pages round, put them where you wanted, add more pages of your own if you wanted. So in the front here, we have a little lace pocket, which has been uh, dyed a little bit to make it look, look a bit more vintage than it was. And we have some uh, book page, music paper, scrapbook paper, and then some washi stickers. And we have a little journal card and this really pretty paper here for journaling. On this first page here, <coughs> excuse me, that's scrapbook paper card, sorry. And we've got a couple of pockets here with collage tags. There's lots of collaging in this journal. Pretty collage tag there, room for journaling on the back. And tag and card there just a little uh, embellishment there we do have a little um turn it right around dragonfly charm which you could put on a different page if you wanted excuse my sniffles and this is the side it's more lovely pretty paper um, we've got a journaling card there in the little corner pocket and just some embellishments there. And this next piece is an envelope. Collaged again. Uh, a journaling card there. Uh, some lovely lace on the side here. And on the back of the envelope we have um, a large tag here. And, oops, can't grab a hold of it. A little journaling card and a little collage tag. Then we just have some book paper behind it just for decoration and this little sticker. Then we have some tea dyed paper. Then some more scrapbook paper. And again we have a collage tag. A little mini collage tag and a journaling card. Then reverse we have a belly band. It's just got um, some fabric and a little homemade stamp there. We've got journaling card and tag. Some more scrap tea dyed paper. And here we have a paper bag. Inside here I've just put another large journaling card. You can add photos into these, anything you wanted. And here we have just a little scrap booklet. You can just write little notes on and things. Just little fun things. Then we've got a Tim Holtz die cut flowers there. And again we have, that's not tea dyed, that is, it's dyed paper. Um, onions, onion skins I think that one was. And here we have another envelope. Um, that's two envelopes attached to actually. So lots more collaging, we have a tag here, a journal card there, and this is used as a tuck spot. And I've just put these couple of images in here you can journal on. There's some more lace on the end here, and there's plenty of room there for adding your own photos or anything. It's tea dyed paper. Oops. Um, we have a Tim Holtz. A um, little card there, and some collaged journaling card. 
Now on the next piece, I've um, just got a little uh, paper clip with some ribbons and little beads and things on. And I've just made this little envelope here. So you can have that on any page you wanted, or glue it in if you wanted. Um, on the end here we do have a piece of material. Um, on the other side here we have a little belly band and then we have um, some paper here for journaling. It's really pretty. tea dye paper again <clears throat> and then we have a handmade bag made with some really pretty flowery wrapping paper we've just got um, some lace and a little stamper made there and here we have another one of those little scrappy scrappy booklet things and they've just been stapled on And we have some tea dyed paper, a little sticker on either side. Then we have a scrapbook paper, a little corner pocket with a tea dyed paper on the back, and um, I'm pleasing my words today completely. Collaged, it's collaged on. And we've got some material here and a bit of lace. And on the reverse, we have two more pockets. We've got a large um, collage tag again. A couple of washes, washi stickers, and a journaling card and a little tag. Let's get up, uh, tea dye paper again. And next we have um, it's an envelope folded in half. So on here we have a little um, talk spot and there's a load of collaging there little collage tag so this does open up there's nothing in there at the minute but you can put something in there and then in this side I've opened it and there's a journaling card there so that's that one two down paper again and we have a paper bag here in the top here we just have a journaling card we have a little butterfly here holding this down, so you can journal on here as well. And that just slips under there. And the back here we just have a little tuck spot with some more collaged bits on a tag. This next page, some more scrapbook paper, a collage tag again. Another tag and journaling card. Little sticker. And on this last bit, um, we have a little lace flip out there and a belly band. And I'll just put this piece of journaling card in there. On the inside back cover, we have another lace pocket, uh, which has a collage journaling card and some more washi stickers and bits there. And then that's the back. Okay, well that's that was my first wing bound. Hope you've enjoyed watching the little video. Um, this will be for sale. Um, any questions or queries, please let me know. Thank you. Bye.